guys, it's time for another paint party. Um, I just did one yesterday, but I just can't get enough. <laughs> it's time to do something else. Um, I have a 10 by 10 inch stretch canvas in front of you. We're going to do a reverse dip. Haven't done one of those in a little bit. Um, so let's get started. As usual, um, I will provide information on the colors that I'm using in the description. We're gonna use this little dessert cup here. I'm gonna set that right in the middle. My closest approximate placement of the middle, <laughs> okay? Um, for me, I'm leaning over an ottoman, so it helps me to stand up and get a good view, overall view of my canvas. Alrighty. Back to the black backgrounds, which I really like. Just like the way that they come out. Back to the red again. If you watch my videos, you know the last flower I did was red, but it wasn't a reverse dip. It was a, uh, well, using the dessert cup. It was a puddle pour, and it didn't really turn out how I liked. It didn't, um, the results weren't really what I was crazy about. Plus a bug got in it. I have food tents to put over my paintings, but that's not a guarantee, obviously. I'm gonna try. It is starting to get pretty cold at night here now, so Hope that means the gnats are gonna go away. <laughs> but until then, I'm fighting them every day. Okay. What's up with this petal here? Do I need to get a little black there or something? It looked like a little dip in the paint there where the background color. So I put a little speck there more.
these this um method and the uh these flowers that are pretty popular within the pouring community um and i understand why because uh they're really 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 pretty when they do turn out the way <laughs> that you want them to Does take practice though, that I can tell you. I haven't kept count of how many times I've done it. When I first started doing them, it, I had to keep repeatedly doing them. You know, it was scrape. Because it just didn't look right. And I started doing them on uh, six by six inch canvases instead of a ten by ten. I've worked up to that because when you're a beginner, it's better to start with smaller canvases. I learned that real quick and, and was lucky enough to um, hear that recommendation by someone, another artist, uh, that was more experienced uh, in a YouTube video. So I'm trying to uh, share my experience with others as well because it It's appreciated, I know, when you're new at this. Because you learn real quick that it looks so darn easy. But to get really nice results, it's not as easy as it looks. You just gotta have fun with it, no matter, you know, what. Can't take it too seriously or, you know, get bent out of shape because it, you didn't get it, it didn't turn out good. <laughs> just scrape it and try again. No fall colors for today. Yes, I've been doing fall colors the last few parties. But today I don't feel like fall colors. I need some bright and shiny colors today.
sitting here deciding if I want to do more on this layer before turning the cup. I think I'm going to. I typically do, in the past, normally do two at rounds of the colors and then turn it. But I think I'm going to do it some more this time. So what do you guys think about this color combo? I'm anxious to see how it's gonna look after the dip, the reverse dip. Because that's when you get the blending. Okay, now I'm going to turn the little cup. Wow, it's really stuck. This isn't quite lined up right here. It's fine on this side, but not that side because our flower got a little wonky, like it often does on me. I've been lucky enough to get it straight a couple of times, but most of the time it wants to pull some, something like this. <laughs> Is 
It'll still look pretty. That's the main thing. Perfection is not my goal here. I would, it'd be nice and all, but you know. This is art, this isn't uh, a photograph. My kitty's deciding to talk to me. Is mommy talking to somebody? You don't know who it is. <laughs> I know, it's weird, ain't it? It's later, much later in the day than I normally do this kind of thing. So uh, my kitty doesn't know what to think. She's supposed thinks that we're supposed to be cuddled up on the couch right now. <laughs> that's what I suspect. Yeah, that's what you think, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there with the actual flower. And uh, the last time I did that puddle pour one, I talked about how I thought about doing the black background, wasn't sure it was gonna work out, you know, right, because I was wanting to do greenery around the flower. And I asked for someone to leave me a comment if they had tried it, no one did. <laughs> which doesn't surprise me because I've, I get very few comments on my videos. Um, I appreciate all those that I do get. They're very few and far between though. Um, so I decided to go ahead and try this anyway without, you know, I can't wait on any validation from someone else. I'm gonna go ahead and try it myself. So I'm gonna try and do some little bit of greenery on it. Not sure, you know, this is all, all in experiment for me, you know, because I have not done much of the greenery at all. Well, actually, I've only done it once, and I didn't like the way it did it last time, so I'm going to try something different. This time, not so much green. Last time, it was a lot of green, so, oh. I didn't want all that. I think I'll put some more of the dark green. And of course, it's not going to look, you know, exactly like this after the reverse dip part of it. 
It'll look different than what I'm putting on there at the moment. I uh, could try and fix that. I don't know. Should I? Or at least remove the extra. Okay. I'm going to go around to the other side because. My perspective from that side is not going to look right, so. Sorry, I'm not talking. I just uh, really got to concentrate on this to not totally screw this up. Okay. Uh-oh. Running over while I'm not paying attention. Trying to hurry this, trying to hurry this up. If you hurry up too much, you screw it up. So, Greeny, greenery is a good idea, but it does take this extra time. I'm not sure it's going to be worth it. We'll see. Because uh, this already um, came off on us. Okay, time to quit fiddle farting around and um, get this napkin on here before it totally screws up. Okay, I need to take this off. That might have helped keep this from going over so much. I can worry about fixing the edges after I'm, I'm done. Okay. Let's 
do some mod modifications to the middle real quick. Okay, spray my napkin. Well, I don't, I'm not using a napkin this time. I'm using an actual paper towel that seemed to do better last time. Okay. When you do very big of a camp canvas, you can't get a paper towel that's big enough. Is also is also another issue about doing bigger ones. Pat it real softly, just trying to get contact, you know, even contact with the whole image. Get out all the, any air bubbles. Okay, the moment of truth, as they say. To the middle. Move this out of the way. My inner pieces have fallen in. Okay, got a lot of paint. Okay, let's give it a few minutes to do its thing. It looks interesting so far. I forgot to put any of the pearl white or white pearl, whatever, um, on the leaf areas. Forgot, I meant to do that this time, and uh, I forgot. So, I not got any lacing there. The last one that I did, the greenery, I spent a lot of time embellishing it afterwards, and then I ended up getting a bug in it. So I'm not going to bother with that this time. Um, how it is is how it is. Turn this around so I can get to this better. 
not getting a whole heck of a lot of lacing yet. Let's give it a little bit more time. Plus, I'm going to torch it, of course. I've got some smear here. That doesn't look good. You can't be afraid to do embellishments while it's still wet. Something don't look right and you think you can change it <laughs> easy enough, you should try to do it. Try to save it. And try to make it the way you want it. I'm probably gonna try to work some more on that. Get that more even looking. wasn't any lacing there anyway that I'm losing. I wouldn't want to do that to this because that's got all that lacing in it. This will continue to change some as it's over, I don't know, the next hour or so, probably. Of course, I'm not going to have the camera on <laughs> that whole time, <laughs> but I'm just telling you that because, um, you know, when you try it yourself, you expect that it's it could change still. Um, a little bit over the, the time period. Because right now the paint is still moving on this canvas. Um, let's see if I can get it to move over this way a little. Yeah, that's better. Um, the red and pink really um, combined, didn't it? It kind of became a, a, a fuchsia, which I love fuchsia, so that's that's awesome. Um, trying to decide if I want to do anything at all to that middle to get it a little more. Yeah, there's a lot of weird paint in there. That's better. Okie doke. I'm get the camera down and give you all a close up. Okie doke. Here we go. We got a lot of good lacing in this area. The edges always seem to do best for me. But we do have some lacing here in the middle. I'm trying to make sure my shadow isn't getting on here. And as I said, it will change some over, you know, over a little bit of time. Um, the lacing will be more visible.
these leaves don't look, you know, perfect or, or anything, but I do think that they, the little bit of greenery around the edge there gives it a little more interest. And I think our, our middle turned out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with how this one turned out. I hope you guys like it. Um, if so, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share with your friends and family, and most of all, please consider subscribing. I'm working so hard to make this channel, um, a lot, you know, more of a party, you know, than the few little, <laughs> the few little views that I get. I'm happy to have them. But I sure would like to get some more and um, feel like I'm, you know, making a difference. So that's something, I guess, that's a part of my personality. I, I'm, I like to try and make a difference. And um, I hope, I'm hoping my talents are blessing others. Um, with that said, I'm going to sign off for today. And I hope that you guys um, enjoy the rest of your day. Please um, be kind to others and love love one another. That's my the best message I could send out there. So I'll be seeing you again soon for another paint party. You all take care. Bye.